So, water, leave-in conditioner, and then you get yourself uh, your dimming brush, which I know I saw it. Okay, got it. Get your dimming brush, and you're going to comb that through. Okay? I comb through each A. I comb through the L. I comb through the cream, which is the C, and I comb through the oil. Okay? So, that's the first part. Now we're going to go in using what little I have left. So I may have to change a couple of things. This is my Maui Moisture. I love this stuff. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's, that's why it's almost gone. So we're going to see what we're going to do, boo. Don't take a lot. That's the good thing about it. It don't take a lot, but I don't know if it's going to make it all over my head. But even if it don't, I can use another moisture product. Not putting a lot on there. Brush. And then for my oil, I'm using the Eden Body Works. Hold the top up. Uh, coconut Shea. And this is a coconut balm. Showed you all this in one of my earlier videos. And you pretty much just stick your finger in there. Get some out. Because now... With the oil, what you're about to do is seal in the moisture. Okay? Rub your hands together. You can use any oil of your choice. Coconut oil and grapeseed oil tend to work really good for me. Jamaican black castor oil, it can do. But these are like light. Light. And I like that. And I brush that through. And you can tell just right now by looking, you can tell the difference in the hair. It's coming back to life compared to this. But, I want my clamp set. I brush that over to the side. If you don't know how to flat twist, don't flat twist. Just do some twists. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to do some twists because this is not a tutorial on twisting your hair. This is a tutorial on making sure your hair stays moisturized. Now, during the week, when you go to style it and all that kind of stuff, you're going to make sure that you have you. I carry a moisture bag. Okay, a moisture bottle. I'm sorry. And in my bottle, I have oil, I have some water, and I have some apple... Uh, not apple cider vinegar. No, 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 no. Some aloe vera oil. I have that. And I, when I feel like, because I work out in the heat, when I feel like my hair needs to be moisturized and the heat's getting to me, just pull it out and spray. And you don't even have to spray a lot. Just shake it up because the oil sometimes flows to the bottom, but most of the time is at the top. So... Want to make sure that you have your bottle with you. Now, you can do the LCO method whenever you wash your hair. You can do the LCO method when you feel like your hair is starting to be damp, uh, you know, dry, because you don't want it damaged. Then you can do the LCO method. Sometimes you may just, instead of the leave in, just use liquid. Because you don't want too much, you know leaving in your hair I mean you can do it it's not gonna hurt anything but the moisture the main moisturizer is get it when you fall in love with your hair you're gonna be able to tell what your hair loves what your hair doesn't love. your hair will communicate with you honey will do it so this is the front okay call it at the ends as you can see, totally moisturized twists. Okay? Total moisturized twists. You put your nap cap on and you go to bed. That's it. So, I'm going to speed up the video.
up close. These were the first ones that I did. And I always go back and put a little extra, like the leave-in conditioner or a little of the oil. I always go back and put a little of that on the ends because the ends, they're the oldest part of the hair and you don't want them to break off. Okay? So, leave-in conditioner or liquid, which is water, aloe vera juice. Water is the best, though. Um, my Maui moisture. This is really good, really good. And I use the Maui, which I, I didn't think it was going to make it, y'all. I got to go. <laughs> got to go to the store, baby. So, this is the Maui Moisture Curl Quench Coconut Oil. It's a curl smoothie. So, everything that you're putting in your hair is moisture. The key to it, though, is you never want to put too much because you don't want to over-moisturize like I did on one of my other videos. Don't want to talk about it. You can just go back and look. So, I hope I answered your questions. Um... How often, how often can you do this? I do the LCO method every time I shampoo and condition my hair. If during the week I feel like I need to co-wash or shampoo my hair and condition it, I do it. And I do the LCO method with that as well. If I'm wearing a whole bunch of twists, not like this, but a whole bunch of twists, and my hair is feeling kind of dry and you can't really do the LCO method, you can go and spray some of your leave-in conditioner in there and then have that bottle with some oil and the uh, water or aloe vera juice. Have that as your mist. But this is how I keep my hair soft, guys. So I have answered one of my subscribers' question. And if I left out anything, please let me know. If you all have any more suggestions or anything else y'all want me to help you guys understand or walk with you through, or we can walk through it together. Because as you can see, now if you go and watch my early videos, it's work. Um, other than that, if you're low porosity, whenever you try to do these, go in with the warm water. That will open up the strands of your hair. And once it closes, once the strands, the cuticles close, that moisture will be in there. So you can't go and just start stacking product on top of product because you will cause a lot of buildup. And that is not going anywhere looking like that. Ah. So what, another thing I do is I put these on and I sleep on them at night. Sometimes. Like right now it's nighttime, so I don't want my nighttime bonnet to be wet while I go in here and watch the 90 Day Fiance. Mm -hmm. My new show. My new show, y'all. They got me. They got your girl. That show is good. 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> I'm late. I know it is. But I've been watching all of it on Hulu. And some of these people just do anything to get a man. And some of these people, most of them, some of them just doing anything to get over here. You know? They'll tell you when you're watching it, my whole life I've been groomed to come to the United States. And... This one guy said, he said, I was looking around on the China page, you know, the Japanese girls, and I fell in love, and she fell in love with me. And his friend said, no, she fell in love with that you were in the United States. I mean, <laughs> it's got some good couples on there, y'all, but some of that stuff is just a trip. I, I love it. <laughs> So I'm about to close out this video. Keep God first in everything you do. And I do mean everything. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you, my cousins. My cousin asked me to that question. And I jumped right in on it. And this is dedicated to you. I don't know if she want me to say her name or not. 
I'm just gonna say my cousin, my LP cousin. Yeah, Lorraine. Lorraine. Did I say Lorraine? I said Lorraine. Oh God, I'm so sorry, Lorraine. I'm gonna have to sign a no disclosure. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a blessed one.